All right, y'all, welcome to the show. Crazy, crazy week going on right now. Don Lemon fired from CNN. Tucker Carlson fired from Fox News. Massacre Monday, Bloody Monday is what, <laughs> what we're going to call it. Um, but I got a bunch of other stuff to talk to you guys about today. So um, shameless plugs first, get those out of the way. You guys know the drill. Click the like button, click the subscribe button. We just got past that 1 million sub mark. Now we're trying to get to that 2 million sub Z mark. So hook a brother up. There's a decent number of you who watch the channel but are not subscribed. I don't know what you're doing with your life. Click that subscribe button. Also, click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. And always remember, now, if you guys want to listen to the whole show as a podcast, go on over to Spotify, and you can do that. Full audio podcast available over there. And support the show on Patreon. Support uh, Crystal Kyle and friends on Substack. Enough with the shameless plugs. I love you all. Appreciate you. All right, so today, uh, Ben Shapiro is impotently and desperately trying to save Ron DeSantis from Donald Trump. It ain't going too well, man. It ain't going too well. We also have a new CNN show, which was just announced, that I'm not going to lie, mm, I'm a wee bit excited for it. I am a wee bit excited for it. And when you hear uh, who I'm talking about, you'll know why. Um, and then we also have a heated debate on Fox News over drug legalization. And um, the greatest local news segment I've ever seen, uh, it's about 420, and they talk to people who are high as balls. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so Ben Shapiro uh, went on his show, and he decided, uh, I've had enough of Donald Trump smearing Ron DeSantis, the greatest, the greatest politician of all time. We all know how much Ben Shapiro loves Ron DeSantis. And so um, he's going to play some defense here. Let's watch, and then we'll break it down as we go. As Donald Trump is running ever to the left. So Donald Trump has decided that he is not going to attack Ron DeSantis from the right. He's not going to say, listen, I love how Ron DeSantis governs in Florida, but I've been president before. I know what it takes. I know how, how you get hit. And next time around, I've learned a lot. And so I'm going to know exactly which buttons to push in order to prevent the deep state from thwarting my presidency. That's not the case that Donald Trump is making. Right? Donald Trump isn't making the case. Here's all the wonderful things I did as president. A second term would have been a lot better than Joe Biden. And I'll make that happen. And then I'll pass the baton because I only have one term left. I'll pass the baton to somebody like Ron. That's not the case he's making. Instead... Shocking. You're telling me Donald Trump is narcissistic and only out for himself? <gasps> Amazing. It's not like anybody could have seen this coming from the literal second he entered the public scene. Also, look, to be fair to Shapiro, that the point that he's attacking DeSantis from the left is not incorrect in certain contexts with a limited scope. He's attacking him from the left, for example, when it comes to abortion. DeSantis just signed a six-week abortion ban. Donald Trump has said, no, leave it up to the states. So if it's going to be legal in blue states, let it be legal in blue states. Donald Trump is to Ron DeSantis' left on that issue. He's also to Ron DeSantis' left on Social Security and Medicare. Ron DeSantis wants to cut him. He's voted to cut them. Donald Trump has been hammering Ron DeSantis over that. So in some ways, Trump is attacking DeSantis from his left. He is. But, you know, on the overwhelming majority of issues... There's actually total agreement between Trump and DeSantis, and they're both very, very conservative. He's full on attacking Ron DeSantis from the left. It's bizarre. It's super weird. Here is Donald Trump ripping Ron DeSantis' COVID response for being too liberal and permissive, for allowing too many people to die. This is the same attack the mainstream media were making on Ron DeSantis during COVID. This is the Andrew Cuomo attack on Ron DeSantis being mirrored by President Trump. What in the world? Why do you think you're a better choice than DeSantis? Well, actually, if you look at the numbers, he didn't do a great job. If you take a look at the numbers, he's very high on crime. Very high, right at the top. Uh <laughs> he's always going to make me laugh. He's very high on crime. Very high. If you look at the numbers, very, very high on crime. <laughs> now, if you're DeSantis, you should be able to hit Trump on that exact same issue and say, you're the one that signed the First Step Act. You're the one that's freeing criminals. We lock criminals up in Florida. You free them but I don't think he has the cojones or potentially even the knowledge to attack Trump on that, so. Almost at the top. Uh, he, I think he gets good publicity, although now people are starting because I'm putting out the COVID numbers. He didn't do well on COVID. He had more deaths in almost every country in Florida. <laughs> I hate to say it because Florida's my state, but he, had, he did not have, he did not do well. It's, it's really, it's very interesting. I don't want to knock anybody, but the thing he did well on is public relations because uh, the numbers weren't what uh, they pretended to be. That is a lie. He's actually doing Rebecca Jones crap now. The numbers weren't what he, the numbers are exactly what he said they were. 
Florida, in terms of its, its age, well outperformed a bunch of other states. Florida has approximately the same death rates from COVID as California. And when you adjust for the ages, then Florida does better. They, and we didn't kill our economy here in Florida. Okay, to be fair to Shapiro on this, now I thought for a long time too, because I had seen a bunch of articles on this, that Florida was severely undercounting their COVID death numbers. But the fact of the matter is we now know that the person who pushed that story is somebody by the name of Rebecca Jones, and she's just been outed as a colossal liar. She did this whole thing about how, you know, the state is taking my son and uh, all this, and it turns out that the reason why um, they were going after her son was because he had done a number of death threats repeatedly. He said he was going to shoot up the school, and she made it seem like there was this witch hunt where they were going after her son, and that, it just wasn't accurate. And so, of course, um, that put into context and perspective that she was the one who said, oh my God, the, the deaths are being far undercounted in Florida. And look, the evidence just isn't there at the moment that that indeed was the case. So, you know, kind of shame on the media for running with that. Shame on me for not realizing, you know, the source was sketchy. And this is it. But so look, when it comes to Trump, he doesn't care. If, if you were to tell him this, Hey, look, the person who was the source is a massive liar. An honest person would be like, yeah, that's and that's super questionable. It probably shouldn't run with that. But Trump's like, I don't care. She's going after DeSantis. I hate DeSantis right now. I'll go after him with whatever. It's like when he said Ted Cruz's dad killed JFK. You think he was like a stickler for fact-checking on that? Of course not. He's just throwing whatever he's got against the wall. I mean, everyone knows this. This is why Ron DeSantis is popular. So, so Trump is basically saying, who are you going to believe me? Or, me or your own lying eyes? And, and he's now running at him from the left. I mean, presumably, this means that he would have been in favor of lockdowns because Ron DeSantis was not in favor of lockdowns. Presumably, this would be in, mean that he would be in favor of vax mandates because Ron DeSantis was not in favor of vax mandates. Presumably, this would mean that Trump is in favor of mask mandates because DeSantis was not in favor of mask mandates. So I have a question for you. Again, are you voting for Trump because you actually think that he's going to be a stalwart protector of conservative values? Are you voting for him because you think that he's going to win? Because both of those seem to be in doubt by the way he's running the campaign. And this is the part that drives me nuts. I'll say it for the 1,000th time. If he's the nominee, I'm highly likely to vote for him. That does not mean that he is the best nominee. So look, I hate to break it to Ben Shapiro, but the fact of the matter is these policy disagreements at the end of the day are going to mean dicky McGee's acts to those Republican base voters. They're voting based on vibes, man. They're voting based on vibes. And they view Trump as the alpha dog. They view DeSantis now as the beta dog. Um, and it's... It, it, None of this infighting about the particulars of policies or the way in which Trump is going after DeSantis, none of that's going to land. Because with Donald Trump being under a legal pressure, being in trouble with the law, and getting indicted, this is something that made him go up in the estimation of Republican base primary voters. They like him more. They're circling the wagons. He's the king of triggering the libs, and now the libs are coming after him, so they view it as like, we need to defend our guy. We need to protect our guy. And our guy is still numero uno. That's how they view it. All of these specifics on the issues, whether it's abortion or whether it's the COVID death rate or whatever, that's the Republican base. They don't know about this. They don't care about this. They just see a, a confident guy going after a guy who's hiding in the corner like a nebbish little weirdo, and they're going to decide based on that. And so, I mean, on the one hand, it's like credit to Shapiro for trying to make it about policy, but I got bad news for you, buddy. If you wanted to have policy, substantive policy discussions, um, you're on the wrong side of the political spectrum because <laughs> it ain't going to work out too well over there. So he's trying to protect DeSantis, but the fact of the matter is the lead for Trump now is gigantic. It's only gotten bigger. The more legal trouble he's in, it might go up even more and more. Um, so th this is like, Pissing into the wind, dude. It ain't gonna work out. It's coming right back at you. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.